Patriot Prepper here. Was asked a question by a subscriber, what knife I carry every day. And I can't say I carry a knife every day. I carry knives every day. This is an old timer that I've, my uncle carried. I don't know how long he had it. And uh, there was only one of these and he had four boys and uh, they couldn't split it so they gave it to me. I have, I carry it every day. I don't use it, I don't sharpen it. Um, if I cut a hangnail with it, that's very rare. But this is a nice little knife. I'd love to have it redone and need blades put on it, but that'll come. Let me show you my other knives. I carry this cobalt box cutter, shingle cutter. I use it for my work and I use it pretty regular. You just change the razor in the end. And uh, I've had this for a number of years. It's a good, reliable knife. I've been happy with it. As far as in a defensive type situation, with knife fighting, you got to get in there and this isn't a stabber, it's a slicer. And slicing it isn't as good as jabbing, but you do what you gotta do with what you got. And this one's got a lock and blade as well. So you got to unlock it and get it out. But I like this knife and it's a good work knife. This is a Buck 110. This is similar to a knife I carried as a young man. The knife I had as a young, young man, I popped it open so much that it would pop open like a switchblade. And uh it was extremely sharp. This one's extremely sharp. Uh, but I don't use this knife for anything but carrying on my side and to uh, ward off anybody with any ill intentions. It's a good knife, reliable knife. It's just this isn't the type of blade you want to be uh, whittling with or stuff like that. I keep it sharp and I keep a good point on it. And uh once you sharpen a knife and get the edge on it, just minus every once in a while, just a little running over a, a grinding rock, not a, a hard grinding rock, but a very fine rock, just a couple, three times just to get the edge on it and wipe it off with oil. But this knife has never failed me. My previous one never failed me. And the previous one, it was, it was just amazing how I could pop that knife out at a moment's notice. Last, but not the least of all my knives. But this is a knife I made. I'd wanted this knife for about 48 years. When I was about eight, 10 years old, and they had a raffle in, I think it was in Field and Stream for a knife made similar to this. And I've, I'd always wanted one. Tried to find different artisans to make one and Back then, it was hard to find different materials or blade blanks and all this. And I just, it was one of those things that never happened. So about three years ago, I started making my own deer antler knives. And I found a source of some antlers, and I've bought some antlers since then. And this antler is a shed, as you can tell right there. These are fake bear claws. And I call this my barroom brawler knife. I only wear this like if I'm going uh, to a, like an antique uh, yard sale or just something like that. I, I, I have it in my vehicle most all with me all the time, but very seldom do I wear it. And these fake bear claws on there, they're put in like tooth implants. I had to sand the ends of them off in a way to fit in that antler and I've I had to put a steel post on it and bend it a little bit at the bottom and what you do you take baking soda and put in there and then when you mix super glue with baking soda you get something about like cement in there so it, the dry fit was ready so I put the super glue in put it in and beside the antlers themselves I put super glue in there and I packed sawdust in with it to give it structure in there to glue to the antler itself 
But as you see, I carry three knives with me pretty much every day. If I've got my britches on, I've got those three knives. You know, learn when you need them, you got to have them. But uh, stay alert and prepared, my fellow patriots. Patriot prep route.